rise of the Empire. The Emperor's home planet of Naboo rapidly established itself as a major irritant. After a number of Naboo's ambassadors were sent home in various states of dismemberment, her newly elected queen broke off diplomatic ties and began exploring military options. Clearly, it was time for a regime change. A change that would be affected by the 501st, now under the direct command of Darth Vader. Our orders were simple. To infiltrate the city, take out their leader sending a clear signal to other potential troublemakers in the Empire. Welcome to the capital city of Thede. Tonight, we will be performing a radical destabilization of the Thede government via the elimination of their queen. She is heavily guarded in the central plaza, by a group of Jedi and an auto turret grid. In order to defeat these defenses, we must set up a perimeter around the central plaza and shut down the auto turret grid. Careful, soldier. Your numbers are few, and the mission success rests on your shoulders. Tusken Raider! Embassy Plaza. Move out. So far, so good. Now capture the guard post past the embassy. If you need some extra firepower, we've managed to sneak a tank for you at the embassy command post. Use it wisely. Stop that gun, kid. Check your fire! Thank you. 
we must destroy the auto turret grid console, clearing access to the central plaza. Destroy it, and the queen will be ours. On that side. Personal Jedi bodyguards have broken from the palace. Destroy them. Love that gunkin. Watch out, soldier. The auto turret grid is still online. Keep you and your men out of the central plaza until we can find a way to shut down the turret grid. The queen and her royal guard are trying to escape. Quickly. You must eliminate the queen at all costs. We are almost out of reinforcements. service for the Empire. The Queen's death will serve as an example to other nascent rebellions, saving countless lives. With the Queen eliminated, Naboo quickly fell in line. It was the first time the 501st was called upon to adjust a planet's government. But it wouldn't be the last. Within months, the 501st gained a well-deserved reputation as Vader's fist.